in this session let us now go for the change attributes toolbar already we have seen how to use the attributes for any particular drawing in AutoCAD we refer to them as properties suppose you have created a rectangle in this way a rectangle over here and a circle over here then after having made all these three objects go with fit view right and now you can select the circle and you can apply a particular color to the circle over here in this way you can select it you can apply a particular line type you can also apply a particular line thickness in this way depending upon the requirement you can change the attributes of any drawing you can do it either from here or now you can see when I'm drawing all these values are changing the default values of the attributes are itself changing so what I'll do is I'll select all of it I'll delete it let me put them back to by level everywhere this is the preview of the drawing okay now close this and next suppose I have one rectangle in this way one over here one over here the first option is change element attributes which is used to change the attributes of the element that is over here I can select individually which attribute to change for the element and which not to change I'll go ahead and select the color option and I'm going to select it to some color number 5 after which I'll click on this rectangle having selected that left click outside sorry first you need to select the method over here right now method is match or change I'll shift it to change we'll also see what what is exactly match or change option for now first choose the change option then in the color option select any color say color number 5 which we chose earlier now select the rectangle then go with left click outside the screen in order to accept it and you can see the color of the rectangle has changed similarly I can go ahead and choose a particular set of attributes say color I want it to be yellow the style I want it to be number 5 and weight also I want to increase it a little to number 4 now I'll select this rectangle by using my left mouse button and again I'll use my left mouse button in order to accept it you can see the changes which have taken place on the rectangle this level option is used to choose the layers so far we haven't seen the level option so I'm deselecting this and now I'm going to apply another set of attributes to this third rectangle I'm choosing a weight over here say 1 I'm selecting this rectangle then left click again ok so this is about your change attributes option now suppose you have changed the attributes of a number of objects now after having done that I have drawn a couple of other objects as well and I want to apply the attributes that are already on these elements onto the new elements that is I want to use the same color the same line type and line weight of this particular rectangle green color rectangle over here I want to use the same attributes on these three circles 1 2 and 3 for which I'll again go to the change element attributes option and instead of the change option let us go with the match or change option alright and now whether I select it or deselect it I can choose which element to copy the attributes from that is suppose right now the all the values are already existing for this particular rectangle let me choose this rectangle that is I want to apply the attributes of this yellow rectangle to the rectangles which I have already drawn over here these white colored rectangles I can choose the attributes select the match or change option and click on this rectangle when you click on that rectangle all the properties or all the attributes of that particular rectangle are copied on to this screen after which you can go ahead and select the elements by first left clicking select this yellow color and 
then go with identify element to match I want to select this element then left click in order to accept it then it is asking me to identify element to change I'm going to select this rectangle this rectangle and this rectangle then left click in order to accept it that is how you are going to match and then change the properties let us now see this uh, rectangle over here I'll again choose the same option that is change element attributes select match or change and I want to identify element to match as this one then left click to accept it after which it is asking me to identify element to change I'll select all the circles over here and you can see the effects taking place left click in order to accept it that is how you are going to match and change the properties again draw a few rectangles over here now having drawn these objects if you want to apply the properties of this particular rectangle to them select this option match or change click on this those attributes have been applied over here then left click to accept them later on go ahead and select each of the rectangles left click to accept this is how match or change attributes tool works now let me delete all of it The next option over here is change to active area that is suppose you have a rectangle in this way made out of the area type set to whole again I'll change this to solid and create one more bigger rectangle which is solid now if you're trying to hatch a particular object say this one and left click you will be getting the hatch in this way but when you're trying to select this rectangle it will not get selected the reason being it is a whole component always whenever you're creating that uh, creating the hatches or patterns you need to select a solid component and not a whole component okay so in order to convert it into the solid type I'll select this option change element to active area select area as solid select this rectangle then left click and you can see the previously applied hatcher has been generated since you have already converted it into solid from whole okay that is how you are going to use the change element to active area option let me select this rectangle okay now whatever you were drawing was being created in the solid mode similar to this you have the circle as well in the solid mode if you try to hatch it it is going to get hatched but suppose if you do not want it to get hatched then you will be converting it into a whole object select this instead of solid go with whole select this rectangle left click select the circle and left click now try to hatch it and it won't get hatched similarly the circle will also not get hatched that is about your change element to active area option the next option is change to active fill type next option over here is change to active fill type and instead of none I can go with opaque and select some color select this rectangle and you can see the effect the field type has been changed similarly I'll select this go with some other color for select it and left click in order to change the active field type all right this was about the conversion of your attributes.
such as the properties that is line type line weight and line color and then whether it has to be solid or whole as well as what is the fill type active fill type for the particular object i'll stop the session over here